Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today we are testing out the e.l.f. Camo Color Correctors. These came out and I knew I wanted to pick them up and try them for you. I did get three different shades here. I got the peach, the yellow, and the green. We'll go over what they do, the whole point of them, and also the other shades that I did not pick up. And we're filming in natural light today, so hopefully you can see everything very clearly. It's not too bright, hopefully. <laughs> We'll see. Uh, before we get started, if you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss my next video. Also love it if you can follow my Instagrams. I will put them in the description below for you to follow. And also if you want a quick way to subscribe, there's a subscribe button, I think in this corner. Maybe I got it right that time. Left corner, we'll see. So let's start with the description and price and everything. So they're four bucks, very affordable color correctors. And they do come in, what is happening? <laughs> they do come in five different shades and I have three out of the five. Uh, I did not pick these up in the store, I got them online. I'm not sure if they're in stores yet. They might be probably selling out very quickly, but it's described as a hydrating, lightweight and long lasting color corrector in five shades to camouflage discoloration, dullness and redness. So it says that it's hydrating lightweight color correction that layers well underneath foundation and concealers. Available in a wide range of shades for all color correcting needs and skin tones. Long lasting, crease resistant, full coverage with a satin finish and infused with hyaluronic acid and rose flower water. So they just come in these little paper packages, nothing special, super affordable. So I don't really expect anything special. And I like how there's no plastic in this packaging either. So what made me sort of really interested in these is the fact that they claim to be lightweight and hydrating. And I feel like a lot of color correctors are more of those thick, creamy type of formula. So it was really interesting, especially for the face, to have a lightweight sort of consistency. And the e.l.f. camo line is very popular for a reason. They make really great concealers. And it was, again, an interesting point that it's the camo line, but more of a lightweight version. So this is what the packaging looks like, very standard plastic tube. And then it has one of those flat double-sided doe foot applicators. So it picks up quite a lot of product on each side. So let's start with swatching this green one I have here. This is the one I was probably the most interested in because it is good for redness. But also I do have more of a fair cool olive undertone to my skin. So I'm always looking for green products to either put underneath my foundation or mix in to make the tone better suited to my skin. So this is the green shade. It's a nice light green. It doesn't pull like too deep, which I think would be very versatile for a lot of different people. So if you're not familiar with color correcting and sort of the idea behind it, it's that you're using the color wheel and the color that you want to correct, you use the opposite color to neutralize the color that you're trying to get rid of, essentially. You usually do this under foundation. So green is meant for red because they were opposite on the color wheel. So you would use this on any kind of redness. So there's also a guide on the e.l.f. website if you need even more information, but I will read it to you. It says, for the green color correctors, they cover redness, blemishes, and rosy cheeks and all skin tones. So if you have rosacea, acne, any sort of redness, this would be a good pick for you. Or like I mentioned, if you do have an olive undertone. And then next up we have the light yellow shade and just swatching them on my hand. So far they are like nice and light. They don't seem too pigmented either. So here's our yellow shade. You can actually kind of barely see that one on my hand, but this says it camouflages dullness in fair to medium skin tones. Yellow is also a good shade for redness as well, because if you think of it, when you're doing the opposite of red, there's green, but yellow is also right next to that green. So that means it's also going to do some work for color correcting redness. And it says dullness because it is the opposite of purple. So any purple redness, if you have maybe like acne scars that usually get like this purplish, purplish hue to them, like I do, I think the yellow would be a good pick for you. And then lastly, we have our peach shade here. So we're all probably mostly familiar with the peach shade, right? This is for correcting dark circles. So let's see here. The peach color corrector camouflages spots in darkness from under the eyes to fair to medium skin tones. So the other two that I did not pick up are sort of maybe better for those of you with medium to deep skin tones. 
So the orange does the same thing for peach, but it just has more pigment. So if you have deeper skin, just go for the orange one if you're looking for correcting darkness. And then the blue color corrector, it says it visibly offsets orange and yellow tones in the skin. I might pick this one up as well for maybe foundations that are too orange to me, but I might just end up using the green one instead. But I think the blue would be nice probably if you do have deeper skin and maybe a lot of foundations pull very orange or warm on you and you just really need to offset that. I think that would be a good one to mix in with foundations. So think of yellow as correcting more purple undertones and then peach correcting more of those blue undertones. You could of course probably mix these as well. Okay, zoom you in even more so hopefully you can can see what I am working to correct here. My skin's very calm at the moment. I usually have some more redness in my skin, but it is looking pretty good today. But you might be able to see just my acne scarring that I have going on and um, just some redness around my face. I think I'm going to go ahead and start with my green shade. So I'm gonna put this on just some more like active blemishes that I have that are definitely still pulling red. I'm also gonna do a little bit on my cheeks just because I really like canceling out that redness and I can end up using less foundation. And I'm gonna go ahead in with my sponge just because I feel like this formula will probably work the best that way. Forgot to bring a mirror up so I will be looking into the viewfinder. Sorry about that. I'm also gonna take a little bit of this on that spot I have above my lip so far I'm noticing these are very lightweight feeling, like it doesn't feel like I put anything on my face. And they are also a little bit sheer in the opacity, so you can really work to build them up. I do think it toned down the redness in my cheeks a little bit. I still feel like I could do a little bit more on these spots. And then let's also test it on this red patch I have down here. Yeah, it did a really nice job of quickly canceling that out. So far it's going on really nicely. Scent wise, they smell like a little bit like makeup, but they're sitting on my hand now and I can't really pick anything up. So they're, I don't feel like they're fragranced or anything. Let's go in with the yellow one. So this is the one that's going to be for dullness. So for me, I think I'm just gonna focus this in the center of my face, just because I feel like that's usually where I would want some brightness. And I don't really have experience using like a yellow color corrector like this, so see how it goes. It kinda just looks like a concealer on me right now. I don't know if I really noticed that that did much. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not totally sure if this yellow one is necessary. They didn't notice like a whole bunch happening when I put it on. Maybe if you have like a more medium skin tone, it might have more impact on you. I don't know if it's because I'm so fair, but let's go in with our final shade, which is the peach shade. I'm very curious to see how this performs under concealer and under the eyes. So when I'm correcting or when you're correcting in general, you wanna make sure you're only putting it in the areas where you need the correction because if you start to put it in areas that don't need it, it can start to look just a little bit off and uneven. And the point is you want everything to look even, you know what I'm saying? I'm also actually going to bring this on my eyelids as well because they get this like purple veiny undertone. So the peach is definitely one that's usually the most visible in the correction that I offer. As you can tell, it really toned down the darkness and sort of sallowness under my eyes. I actually also want to try this peach one on maybe some darker blemishes I have just the blemish scars because they are a little bit purple. Let me try this with my finger as well. All right, finally, I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit of green above my eyebrows. Just get a little bit of redness there. I think if you want some more coverage out of this using your finger or a brush, it's probably the way to go, but I think it blends really nicely with a sponge. So there we have it. This is like my fully color corrected base. The orange is a little bit visible, but obviously we're gonna put foundation on. I do think they did a nice job 
at like evening my skin tone. I really like the shade of the peach. It's not too dark. So if you have a very fair skin like me, I think this is going to be a good option. I hope that it wears well though. And maybe it will replace my pixie under eye corrector because that one is more of a thick creamy formula, which can be nice, but it would also be good to have a nice like lighter weight option. And I think probably my favorite is the green. I just really like having something to color correct the sort of redness in my cheeks and help foundations match my undertone. So I'm gonna be using the Revlon Skin Caring Foundation today. I will be doing a review on this very soon. I have a lot of base products to try out. I posted a couple of them on my community tab and asked you guys which one you wanted to see first. And the consensus was between this one and the NYX blur skin tint so those will be coming soon so since this shade is a little bit like orange or peachy for me i'm actually gonna try mixing in some of the green corrector just a little bit i'm really curious to see if this will help foundations match me that's my hope for these correctors okay yeah it looks like it did sort of just add a little bit of greenness to it and ideally we should be able to use less foundation because we corrected sort of a lot of redness and other undertones in our skin. So this was just one layer with the foundation. I think everything looks really natural and nothing's like shining through in a way where it's like, oh, I can see orange or purple or yellow on my face. Like it just evened everything out. I mean, the I feel like it helped the tone of the foundation a little bit, but this foundation is also like a hair dark on me, but I do feel like it definitely helped bring it down from being so peachy. So now let's go ahead and grab concealer and we'll see how it goes over the peach corrector. So I'm gonna use my Jouer concealer because I'm super familiar with this. This is a more full coverage concealer, but hopefully we don't have to use a lot of it today. So I mean, that worked beautifully over the corrector. It didn't mix weird or pill weird or act like any type of way with my foundation, which is good. Yeah, the base is on. I think it looks nice. I'm interested to see if it will affect the wear of the concealer or not. I'm gonna have to go ahead and finish up the rest of the makeup and then we'll finish up my thoughts and I'll do a little wear test. But I just wanted to go over the shades really quick. So I think what you're going to find most useful is what you have the most issue with. For me, the green is definitely my favorite because I just have a lot of redness in my skin and I have that olive undertone. So I think adding green to my face just really helps everything look more uniform. The yellow, I'm not like totally sold on. I don't feel like it really did much for my skin. I think if you have a very cool undertone and you sort of get like this purpleness in your skin, like dullness, I think the yellow might be a better choice for you, but I don't feel like it really did that much for me. The peach, I think is one that almost everybody would find useful, the peach or the orange, depending on your skin tone, because it's a really great dark circle under eye corrector and hopefully will make you use less concealer. Perfect amount of pigment in these. I think they just like blend it out beautifully and you could build them without them looking cakey or heavy and i just think this is like a cool innovative more lightweight corrector sort of um formula you definitely don't need all the shades i would probably just pick one or two that you feel like would be the most helpful for what you're dealing with so i will go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and show you the final look but it is currently 126 so i will wear this until the end of the night and then update you on whether or not it performed weird. It will be in studio lighting because obviously we won't have the natural light anymore. But yeah, hopefully it wears well. Give this video a thumbs up if you are excited to see what will happen with these because they're so affordable. I really hope they work well. All right, I'm back and I have the rest of my makeup on. Everything went well. I just set with the Laura Mercier setting powder that I usually use and everything's looking pretty good. I definitely used less foundation than I usually use. And I mean, everything like blended well together. What I really like about these is I don't always, like when I do foundation, I don't need it to be so flawless and full coverage. Like I don't mind having spots showing through like I do. 
but the thing with like correctors like this is it takes the things you don't necessarily want to be the star of the show on your face and puts them in the background so then maybe the features that you do want to feature are in the foreground if that makes sense to you you know what i'm saying it just it's not going to completely erase things because they are like a bit lighter in opacity but it does help just camouflage them a bit which i really like and it's really nice to have something to actually color correct your issues and not just put concealer on it sometimes you can just pile and pile on concealer and it doesn't really do much if you're not doing some sort of color correction and i think these are great i really don't see a lot of color correcting products especially at this price in this sort of formula so so far i do really enjoy these we will see how it wears as i mentioned it was 1 30 when i finished my makeup it's two o'clock now so uh yeah i'll wear it till the end of the night and let you know how it goes but it looks good i mean really i hope nothing else goes wrong i still think the green one's probably my favorite i'd love to know in the comments below if you're someone who uses color correctors or it's something you want to get into at this price point i think it's such a great way to experiment with them and see if they would help you out but i will see you at the end of the night for the wear check-in and i'll do a little close-up to show you my whole face but yeah i'll see you guys then Bye. So it's been about a week since I filmed the first portion of this video, so I wanted to hop on with an update. I did not get footage of the wear test, I totally forgot about it, but I have been wearing them. these correctors with different base formulas, different powders, just seeing how they work, and I am glad to give them a good review. They worked with all of the base products that I tried with them, and I really don't have anything bad to say about them. They are called hydrating, I believe, which I would agree with. They're not super moisturizing. If you have very dry skin, they're not gonna give you like a ton of moisture. So I wouldn't expect that from these. So it's not a drying concealer, but I wouldn't expect it to be moisturizing either. I've definitely gotten good use out of both the green and the peach color. I have been using the green one on blemishes and just on my cheeks before makeup. Sometimes I actually do this on top of foundation before concealer if I'm doing it on blemishes as well. The peach is also just a good classic one I've been using under my eyes. So when I first talked about the yellow one, I was saying I wasn't sure exactly how I would use it or how it was going to work for me because it didn't really have like a super noticeable effect. But I've actually found that this works really well under my eyes almost a little bit better than the peach color i've actually been mixing these two under my eyes this one can be a little bit dark and my dark circles lean more on that purple side so the yellow has actually been pretty helpful for brightening my under eyes so i would say it depends on your skin tone and the tone of your dark circles but i've been mixing these and they've just been working really well so i definitely have found good use for the yellow one all three of these I think are great. I might end up picking the blue one up as well to maybe tone down some of my warm foundations. But these are a really great pick for the price. You can't go wrong if you do need correctors. They're not super pigmented, but they are buildable. So all around, I think it's a really good product. If you wanted something more moisturizing and heavier, but not in a bad way for the under eyes, instead of this peach one from e.l.f., you might like the Pixie under eye corrector better. I like both of them. This is like better for maybe layering with thinner concealers and the Pixi one for maybe thicker, more full coverage concealers. Yeah, all good things. Nothing really bad that I've noticed about them. I really hope you found this review enjoyable and helpful. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will be reviewing a lot of base products coming up. So make sure you are subscribed and turn on your post notifications. I have the new NYX skin foundation. I have the new revlon foundation i have what else did i get i actually got the Ilia true skin serum foundation again and i have a new flower beauty foundation i was interested in trying out the lisa eldridge foundation but i did just want to get this review out here so you can know my thoughts before you go out and buy those if you do see these in the store or not so make sure you don't miss those by turning on your post notifications I would love to know in the comments below if this is something you're interested in picking up. And if you do, let me know like what kind of colors you're looking to get. If you have fair skin, I would definitely recommend these three. But yeah, thanks for tuning in again and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.